Our final bout of the evening on this Invictus K1 show. Fighting out of the blue corner, representing Team Snipers, we've got Marco Piggy and his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner, representing the infamous Storm Jim, home of many a champion and big brother celebrities. Nigel Thomas wearing the black trunks. Open up the exchange for that inside turning kick. This round scheduled uh, this bout, should I say, sorry, scheduled for uh, three three minute rounds. Say key one rules. Just backing Thomas up into the corner. Thomas doing a good job of uh, getting out of the way, moving around the ring. Using that space as best he can. Low kick there from Picky. Very quickly answered back by Thomas. Referee separate these guys pretty quickly after the, uh, after the clinch. Big, big shot there from Picky. Huge over the hand. Right there, sailing past any semblance of a guard from Thomas. He's going to take a count. Looks in trouble. He looks in real trouble here. His eyes don't look clear yet. His feet he still looks quite wobbly on his feet. Is Piggy going to allow him to recover? Or is he going to go on the kill? Eerie silence falling in the crowd now as they're almost always waiting for something to happen here. Thomas searching for an overhand right of his own. Doesn't look anywhere near as dangerous. Sharp turning kick there from Piggy. Lead kick into the midsection of Thomas. More time that goes on. More time Piggy allows him to recover. Dangerous as a moment will come again. Thomas is going to turn overhand right here. Just looking at the right distance here. Don't waste anything. Long low kick there. Yeah. Oh. 
Thomas looking like he's starting to recover quite well here. Moving around his feet a little better. A little bit more balanced. Not quite out of the woods perhaps yet. Oh, another dangerous looking punch there by Picky. Setting those low kicks up really well, he's working off the punch. Not seeing many of those kicks blocked. Straight into the guard of Thomas, sadly, and that's the end of a very testing first round for Thomas. Sounds we get in the way of this second round. This three round bout. Solid looking shots there from Kay. Thomas managed to get himself off the ropes. Hasn't really answered back with much though. Turning kick there again, the outside thigh of Thomas. Not seeing a good, and, and one ni nice reply there from Nigel Thomas, scoring his own turning kick to the thigh. I think I could probably count on one hand the amount of fights I've seen so far this evening when people actually block these kicks, which I find quite troubling. those kicks answering back with his own There you go, Piquet searching for that overhand right again. Not quite finding the mark. It keeps landing. Both of these two guys keep landing with those turning kicks. Oh, just up the volume of those kicks and just keep throwing them in if no one's going to block them. So nice soft, nice soft thigh just to keep planting your shin into. Right hand looking dangerously close again, starting to creep in and again. Thomas just dropping that left hand a little bit. That a little bit lower than I would, certainly if I just walked on to the end of one of those punches in the first round. Piquet picking his shots, picking and choosing his shots well, not again, as we've seen with several fighters so far tonight, not really wasting anything. Everything looks like it's on point, on target, crisp, clean, sharp, strong. Starting to formulate a little bit of a comeback, but very quickly snuffed out by McKay. Close in seconds of this second round. Can Thomas pull something out of the bag here? No. Final round now, getting underway of this co-main event of the evening. Uh, Nigel Thomas fighting out of the red corner, representing Storm Jim, wearing the black trunks. Fighting Marco Piquet, representing Team Snipers. And for me so far, Piquet has been fairly dominant. Throughout this bout so far. here, look on his face, just a little bit 
a little bit frustrated there, trying to find some answers to the, uh, to the difficult questions that are being poised towards him tonight. And what has been working well for him is you know, he's been working his hands quite well, but just hasn't been matching the work rate of Piquet. Both of these guys have been landing, turning kicks nicely, especially to the thigh. But again, we just saw one landed crisply to the body there in the midsection for McKee. Left-hand side of Nigel Thomas. And again, hitting that leg. No attempt to block whatsoever. Stiff right there from K. Inside, outside, back kick. Doubling up the left. Oh, nice body shot there. Hook to the body there. Seems to have slowed Thomas down too much. Not looking confident on his feet anymore. He's looking, uh, looking a little bit wobbled generally. I mean, it's more of a psychological issue than a physical one. I say he's been dealing with uh, the shots quite well that have been thrown into him. Just seems a bit. Like he's second guessing himself almost here. A bit tentative, a bit hesitant. He's just been maintaining a continuum. A nice uppercut there from the K, finding its way through. Yeah, I'll say, because he's just, been, he's just been literally consistent throughout. Nice, continual work rate. Hasn't up the pace or down the pace uh, at all. He's just been solid, consistent, precise, strong. He's been a really dominant force every round in this fight. Hasn't looked in trouble. Hasn't looked out of his comfort zone, even for a moment. Entirely sure what that was, but uh, somewhat unorthodox attempt to close the space down there. And that is the end of the bout. And I think Marco Pique from Team Snipers has almost certainly done enough to secure victory in that fight. Thank you.